Hello no code and bubble app creators, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into everything related to no code development. Today we'll be uncovering the magic of backend workflows and how leveraging them will significantly enhance the performance of your bubble app. So stick around and let's get started. Before we dive into the benefits and examples of using backend workflows, let's understand their purpose. Essentially, backend workflows are server-side events and actions that allow offloading tasks from the client side. This can lead to faster apps, better performance, and smoother overall user experiences. Now that we know a little bit more about backend workflows, let's dive into the top benefits of using them in your bubble apps. Number one is enhanced performance. By moving resource-intensive tasks and processes to the backend, you free up capacity on the client side, leading to smoother, faster, and ultimately more satisfying user experiences. Number two is improved security. Backend workflows add an extra layer of security to your app. Since the tasks are handled on the server side, it becomes much harder for hackers and malicious users to tamper with or view your data. Number three, schedule tasks and automation. One of the significant advantages of backend workflows is the ability to schedule tasks for later execution or automate tasks that recur at specific intervals. This leads to reduced manual effort and more reliable business processes. Number four, scalability. With backend workflows, you can handle more complex and more frequent tasks without straining your app, making it easier to scale up or down according to your app's requirements. Now that we've covered the benefits, Let's explore some practical examples of how backend workflows can be implemented to enhance your bubble app. Number one would be batch data processing. Suppose you have an app that requires mass data uploading or manipulation, for example, importing user details. Instead of doing this all at once within the app, you can move this process to a backend workflow to improve the speed and user experience. Number two, email reminders. Backend workflows can be used to schedule and automate email reminders. For instance, if you have a subscription-based app that requires regular billing reminders or onboarding emails, backend workflows are a perfect solution. Cleanup processes. You can use backend workflows to enforce data retention policies and clean up unnecessary data periodically. For example, you can schedule a workflow to delete user accounts that have been inactive for a certain duration or remove temporary data that is no longer needed. And that wraps up our exploration of backend workflows in Bubble Apps. You can see that they are a powerful tool for enhancing performance, automation, and overall user experience. Remember to follow us and to like this video for the latest no-code development tips and tutorials if you have any questions or ideas about backend workflows, feel free to leave a comment below.